Welcome to Gray on Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle uh, are two parallel lines A, G, and E, F. And, uh, and from these uh, two segments and with the side portion of this uh, right side F, C, and G, C uh, form the shaded part. And we are required to uh, find the uh, area of the shaded area okay so for this problem again so we have a disclaimer figure may not be drawn to the scale okay so for our first method is uh, we can actually uh, draw a horizontal line from f until it uh, reaches this uh, segment uh, AG and we form two parts so parallelogram and this trapezoid below this parallelogram and this trapezoid below okay so we can label this uh, point as uh, H and we see that since this is a parallelogram this HF becomes 5 also and this uh, BF, the height of the parallelogram is simply 6 minus uh, 2. And this becomes 4. So the area is actually the area of this uh, parallelogram and this trapezoid. So uh, for the parallelogram, it is simply 5 times 4. Plus for the trapezoid, it is 1 half times uh, the base 1. 5 plus 3 times the height which is 2 and we cancel this and it becomes 8 and area will be now 28 square units and that is our answer for the first method okay for the second method is we consider the uh, unshaded parts, these two triangles, so this triangle and this triangle. So if we label this uh, EB as uh, uh, A, I mean, uh, let's label this as X. So if that is X and uh, this is BF, uh, 6 minus 2 is uh, 4. So uh, this uh, length DG. We compare this EBF with the uh, uh, ADG, so EBF and uh, ADG, ADG. So we can actually uh, uh, draw a line from this uh, certain point here. Okay. So such that uh, this triangle, this triangle is the same area as this uh, EBF. So if that is so, then this uh, should be for this length. Okay, and this should be X. Okay, so comparing these two triangles, this largest and the smaller with the height of 4 and the height of 6 so we have here uh, so 6 so let's call the whole length as a dg okay so 6 over 4 is equal to dg dg over x so dg this will become 3 halves 3 over 2 is equal to dg over x so dg is equal to 3 over 3 halves of x okay so this whole length dg 
is actually a three halves of x. Three over two x. Okay, and since uh, this is a rectangle, so uh, we can actually uh, make an equation over the legs of the top and the bottom side. So we have here uh, five plus x. 5 plus x is equal to 3 halves x plus 3. So multiplying all by 2, so we have 10 plus 2x plus 3. I mean equals. So let's put equals 3x plus 6. So we have a. Uh, 3x minus 2x is uh, x and 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. So x is 4. Okay, so if x is uh, 4, then this is this should be equal to 4 and this should be equal to 4 times 3 halves, 4 times uh, 3 halves, so this becomes 2, so this becomes 6, this dg is 6. Okay, so for the final step, the area is simply uh, the total area of the rectangle, so 5 plus 4, it is 9. Okay, so area is 9, 5 plus 4 times uh, 6. Then you subtract the two areas of the rect triangles. So 1 half times 6 times 6 minus uh, 1 half times 4 times 4. Okay, so area is equal to 9 times 6 is uh, 54. Minus this uh, 3 times 6, 18. Minus this uh, also, 2, so 8. So, this becomes 26. 54 minus 26 is equal to 28 square units. Same answer that we got earlier. Okay, so for our method 3, so, we can actually uh, draw a line from B, I mean F to this AG, and draw a vertical line from that point. So, let's call this again as H. So, upwards. So, this is 6 minus 2. BF will be 4, and this will be 4. And from this uh, HF to G, so this is 2 also, and this is 3, and this is, uh, this is also 2 units, 2 units, because we actually form a parallelogram. Uh, so 5 minus this 3 unit length, this will be 2. Okay, so we simply add this, uh, the 3 areas. So the 3 areas, this uh, parallelogram, this triangle, and this rectangle. So for the parallelogram, we have, uh, it is equal to 4 times a 5 for this triangle 1 half times 2 times 2 then for this a smaller rectangle we have 3 times 2 so can this cancels out and this becomes 2 okay I mean this will becomes 2 so, area total is equal to 20 plus 2 plus 6. So, 
So we have here area of the total shaded region is 28 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.